Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel Pisces Soul Tribe, what's going on you guys? Um, so I want to get into a general read for you guys And what I want to do is what I'm going to call progress report So let's just see how far you've come Pisces um, I know a lot has gone on within the last um, few years And a lot of changes, a lot of changes have gone on as of late So you guys, let's um, get into our progress report I want to thank you guys as always for your support the likes the shares the comment for subscribing um the donations and i truly have um enjoyed doing a few personal readings for you guys and you know i have been very inspired by what what your stories have been and i want to thank you for trusting me um on your journey spirit of the most high angels ancestors ascended masters um higher beings messages um for the pisces soul tribe um for their progress um we bind and cancel any negative attacks and we return those attacks to the sender um tenfold so that we may continue to be edified uplifted um and encouraged also, you guys, anything that you um, need from me will be down below in the description box. Look at that. The Ace of Cups fell out, but I'm just, you know, just shuffling a bit. But anything you need to know or um, any services or anything you need from me will be down below in the description box. So I'm going to get into a past, present and a possible outcome, because like I feel like that's the only way you can really truly see how far you've come. So also, this one may be a deep dive. So if your attention span is short and, and brief, um, my suggestion would be to take what you need and then click off where you feel like you need to click off. Um, let's see. Um, Spirit, can I get two for the past? Spirit, what's going on with Pisces Soul Tribe in the past? Okay. Okay. So um, the Six of Swords and the High Priestess currently for um, your past energy. Spirit present energy. Can I have two for the present energy? We have the Prince of Swords. Spirit, one more. One more for the present energy. Where is Pisces presently? Okay. The Lovers. And then, um, can I have two for a possible outcome, Spirit? What's a possible outcome for Pisces? Okay. Um, the Eight of Cups, but it came out um, in reverse. And Spirit, one more. One more for Pisces' possible outcome. The Seven of Swords. And then can I have one for what does Pisces need to work on? Just one for what Pisces needs to work on. Okay. The Three of Cups. Okay. So you know what? Let's, um, I think I want to clarify with something else. Yeah, I'm gonna clarify with the with the Fountain Tarot deck. But in your um, past energy, I'm getting a sense of someone who needed um, who needed to move forward from a situation that wasn't really serving them, uh, moving from from darker um, spaces into spaces that are more fulfilling, and that could cause you to be in a space of uh, better knowing. But I'm also getting a sense of there was um, possibly some secrets, Pisces, that you that you knew 
that you honestly didn't reveal and that often tends to be a, a strength of yours but sometimes it could be viewed as a weakness because there can be a sense of holding on to something a little longer than what you what you needed to um in your present energy i'm getting a sense of um you possibly someone's watching you and they're watching some new dynamic um, that you're in and honestly right now that doesn't and that's not no in no way to scare you because like I feel like with the lovers coming in um, you're happy and you're happy in the space that you're in in this unionship um, I'm getting a sense of a lot of love a lot of fulfillment I just get a sense of somebody who's stalking somebody who's um, hating um, on that because you know that just tends to be um, the way it is you don't miss your water till the well runs dry and then in your possible outcome, I'm getting a sense of somebody not walking away or some somebody's not admitting to some secrets or, or some lies. But I'm also getting a sense of somebody holding on to something in secrecy. I'm not necessarily getting bad vibes from it. Um, we can clarify. But I'm all, um, with something you need to work on, um, Three of Cups, I'm feeling like collaborations. Um, maybe happiness, um, enjoying your abundance is what I'm getting a sense of. Because sometimes we can, you know, be stagnant after so much trauma. And we can have, we have the tendency as Pisces to, you know, go into hermit mode, um, introspection, without really truly enjoying life. So I'm, I'm feeling like that's probably what that is. You need to enjoy life more. But let's um, clarify this so we can um, take a deep dive. And once again, you guys, this one might be a little lengthy. So if your attention span is not here for it, I totally understand. I really do. But if these messages do resonate with you, I would appreciate it if you do like, um, share, and even if comment if you want to. So Spirit, what is the seven, not the seven, the six of swords and the high priestess? So, um, the page of coins. What's the page of coins, spirit? Page of coins, spirit. Yeah. Okay. So someone was holding back something from you and I'm, I'm getting the sense of it being some type of stability, but I'm also getting the sense of somebody um, holding on to this because they're, they, they're quite immature, but I feel like somebody's trying to hold you back from possibly, possibly moving forward from something. So yeah, with the 10 of swords at the bottom of the deck, there's some definitely some backstabbing activity going, going on. But once again, I feel like this is something um, that you, that you knew about. And like, like, I feel like there's a sense of you, you, you holding back on that because you possibly wanted to see where something was going to go because let's see spirit force, um, four coins, page of cups and the four coins. What is this spirit? Yeah, somebody's holding on from some sense of investment. Like they they're not really investing um too much in it, honestly. And I'm getting a sense of um you possibly being breadcrumbed or juggled um at the hands of somebody else. We do have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I'm also getting a sense of some type of um third party. So three of cups. But it's interesting, something that you need to work on is you know, the three of cups. Spirit, what's the seven of coins? Who's holding back on investing and why? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Yep. Um, someone is either confused about something or someone is definitely in a overindulging kind of kind of nature. You know, in the urban tarot deck, um, the seven of cups speaks on debauchery. And like I'm getting a sense of somebody really truly not being faithful. And then the three of cups, 
is still at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting a sense of some type of third party activity um, that was happening um, in your previous energy and your previous placement. And like, I feel like as always, Pisces, you know, is moving, moving to spaces where it's no longer, let me think of everybody else. And let me, let me do things for everybody else. It's starting to be my cup first. And when I am full and when I am feeling fulfilled, then I can pour out into the world. But anywho, spirit, what is this seven of cups? Spirit, what's the seven of cups? Um, the strength is coming into place. So I'm I'm getting a sense of somebody really holding firm, somebody really, you know, standing strong um, in what it is that they're doing. But the Ace of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like somebody's been holding back some truth. But I'm also getting a sense of, is it possible, Pisces, that you're beginning to speak up? Because like, with the Ace of Swords coming in, that you know, that's is some strong inspiration, and like now we have the fool at the bottom of the fool at the bottom of the deck, and I feel like you're about to take a risk and a leap of faith to speak on um, what it is you know. Spirit, what is the strength? The Knight of Coins. It's like I'm. Um, mm. The page to the Knight of Coins, and I'm wondering, Spirit, why is the Knight of Coins here? Okay. Queen of Wands in reverse, and now we have um, who who this incoming message is from. So um, it's definitely coming from somebody who is a little reckless. Um, this person is all about themselves. I'm getting somebody who's self-absorbed. But I'm also possibly getting a sense of, okay, let's see. Spirit, why is this Queen of Wands um, here? Why is, she, why is she in reverse? I, I feel like somebody mad too, because they feel like they're getting played too. There's a hangman here. Somebody's trying to hold somebody into place. And like, I, I feel like, I feel like that's really truly what it is. Like, I feel like somebody is, is trying to hold on to somebody because they don't want to let them go. But you know what? So here's the thing, Pisces. I'm not getting an energy of somebody who is, is cheating or anything like that. I'm getting a sense of somebody who has this person in their life that they're trying to that they're trying to let go and like I feel like they they've made a very you know with the strength coming in you know because I feel like that's what the seven of cups was the seven of cups was confusion and like I feel like somebody was holding on to someone while you were trying to build or trying to grow with this person somebody was going um somebody was holding on to someone else in a in another previous dynamic the third party and like I feel like the strength coming coming in is your per, your per previous person, you know, holding back saying, "Hey, you know, I'm in a situation now. You know, I'm I'm not trying to do that with you." And at first it was the page she offered up the page of coins because she wanted to hold on, but then you um she's offering the knight of you know a different type of offer now, a stronger one, the knight of coins. And you the, her, that person not accepting that offer put her in the queen of queen of wands in reverse. So I feel like she got petty. <laughs> Yeah, she got petty and she was trying to hold on to him with the hangman coming in. But like, I feel like also with a change of perspective, you probably were like, you know what? This is not something that I'm I'm really trying to deal with because it seems like she wants to hold on like period. Like she's not letting go. Whoever this third party is, they were not letting go. And like, I feel like the hangman in this perspective is her holding on, but it's also you having a change of perspective and you saying this is not where you want to be. And like, I'm getting a sense of somebody who moved on from that space. Spirit, what's the uh, Prince of um, Swords and the Lovers in Pisces present energy? Yeah, I feel like somebody's stalking. Yep. Um, the Ten of Swords is now showing its face. Um, there's definitely some um, 
something came to an end. But like I'm also getting a sense of it possibly being because of some backstabbing energy on um, Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting a sense of some cycle that came to an end. And once again, there's this holding on energy um, with the Prince of Swords and like some somebody is somebody is stalking. Somebody is stalking spirit. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Somebody's doing something real sneaky, but like I feel like it's external. Spirit, what's the Ten of Swords? Okay, we're holding on. We're holding on. But the Emperor is at the bottom of the deck. Sorry I'm sniffling, you guys. All of a sudden, I just got majorly congested. Spirit, what's the Ten of Swords? Yep. Um. So, the Ace of Wands. Somebody doesn't want something to end yet again. Um, I don't know why people keep on holding on to things that that have come to an end, especially when when they have done treacherous things like I because Ten of Swords ain't no simple ending. Like uh, it's a lot of secrecies. It's a a lot of stuff done in the dark and behind your back. Very very nasty spirit. What's the Ace of Swords? What is this action? Three of Cups. What's the Three of Cups, Spirit? Because it's now on the board twice. And like I feel like now I'm going to get the answer as to why it's something you need to work on. Spirit, why the Three of Cups? What's the Three of Cups? Yeah, you put an end to something. You put an end to something with the death coming in. Like, I feel like you're you're celebrating because you had some divine inspired action, like the possibly the lovers, you know, in this scenario is the reason why you put an end to something. I feel like you you got your hands on something real and versus you dwelling on whatever happened um, previously, you were divinely inspired and you took some in, um, inspired action to celebrate an ending. And like with the death coming in, it's very it's a very strong and we have the three um, coins at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you moved into um, a better space of collaboration we have the seven wands seven of wands behind that i feel like you did block somebody you blocked somebody off with the seven of wands and then we have the world coming in we have the world um the ending of things um cycles complete you're sitting on top of the world spirit what's the death yeah but they're still watching yeah, you put it. Yeah, I'm getting a sense. You putting it to an end doesn't stop them. Stop them from watching. Um, Page of Cups. How very interesting. They're still watching. They're still watching, and it even it, it even looks like a TV. Like, and I feel like somebody's stuck stuck in ideology. They're wishing, you know, they're hoping, they're dreaming, they're reminiscing um, of things that you guys used to do together. But it's like if you if you hadn't have did, hadn't done what you did, then that wouldn't be a problem. I feel like being nosy. I feel like being nosy, and like I feel like y'all want me to. Let's find out what this ten this ten of swords is, and this is just a sidebar. Up, oh, I do see the tower at the bottom of the deck, so it definitely did cause some major upheaval. Spirit, what's this ten of swords specifically? Spirit Ten of Swords. So it was a higher level of commitment. Um, it it was it was really important. But um, with the with the hierophant coming in, I'm I'm feeling like somebody was stuck in it, not stuck, but um, in 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 multiple maybe possible multiple multiple relationships. We do have the five of wands. Um, at the bottom of the deck But like I've, I'm probably someone was in another Higher level of commitment but met Possible another marriage or you know Another relationship where All you were doing was fighting But let's see spirit what is the Hierophant Yeah 
the seven of seven of wands and the the queen of uh, queen of wands um there was a there was a divorce there was a divorce that happened what's the queen of wands spirit yeah the two of swords the two of swords i feel like there were petty arguments there were fights um you were worried somebody was you know with the with the five of swords trying to do malicious things to you know defeat you at all costs but then like i said with the five of swords um nobody wins in that particular scenario but yeah i can i can definitely see why okay we now return to our regular schedule program so spirit in the present energy we left off with the page of cups so somebody's watching spirit why are they watching what's this page of cups I feel like somebody's realizing they could have um, invested more. They could have been a little more um, empathic. They could have been a little more sympathetic. Like, I feel like somebody came at you all the way wrong. Yeah, with the moon in re with the moon in reverse. Like, this is being done in secret. Secrecy is being done under under the geist of the moon. Um, and one more spirit. What's the what's the moon? I feel like somebody wants to reveal something to you, but I don't think they're going to because I feel like they know you don't care. I feel like they know you don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, the tower like you don't give a damn. You don't give a damn at all. And it, it, it needed to end. It needed to come down. Yeah. Okay. We done with that. Spirit, what's the eight of cups in reverse and the seven of swords for possible outcome? Why the um eight of cups in reverse and the seven of swords? So yeah, we have the fool and the four of swords. Um unfortunately, I do feel like something did come to an end. I do feel like um it's possible that the 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 for some of you guys, I'm sorry. Um, something did come to an end. Whether it's something you're present in, your past energy, you know, take it as it resonates. Um, some of you may possibly in the works of um, bringing an end to something because it's not working for you. There, there's too many secrets. There's too many lies. I feel like somebody's holding back emotions. I feel like somebody is not doing what they need to do. Um, in a particular relationship and you do need to be in the space where you are free where you where you're working on you because i'm getting a sense of somebody relationship hopping to be perfectly honest and there's relationship hopping because Rachel, relationship hopping because there's no healing taking place and i feel like with the fool to the four of swords some of you all your new start is you healing is you resting is you meditating there's some sense of some reprieve um that needs needs to happen here some respite like you are wounded you're battered like i and that's just what i'm getting a sense of you know you're i'm getting like the nine of wands energy like you're you're the wounded warrior and in order for a wounded warrior to heal they need to sit down somewhere go lay down <laughs> Spirit, four swords. What's what's the four swords and the fool? Yeah, justice um is happening. Like I feel like you there's something you need to balance. You there's some balance that needs to happen here. Yeah, I feel like that it'll also work out in your favor. Spirit, what's why is the justice here? I'm getting a sense of some type of karma too. But we'll see. Spirit, what's the justice? Yeah, the justice is is the queen of coins. I feel like you need to stabilize yourself. You need to ground yourself. There, there's some some type of of energy that you need to be in. Like in order to be in this type of energy, you need to be in a space where where you are resting, where you are healing. But I I do feel with everything that you've been through, the justice is with the healing and with you taking time. You know, introspection with you going on the inside. You can balance yourself out, and you can come out grounded abundantly you know putting you in that queen of coins energy 
where you're able to to nourish yourself, where you're able to take care of the family, where you become this this matriarch in a sense, standing strong in who it is you are, um, manifesting. Spirit, why the queen of coins? Okay, see the hermit. Um, introspection you know go inside so you can what needs to be revealed to you like I, f I feel like there's something that you need to seek out something that you need to grow something that you may need to expand on spirit why the hermit spirit why the hermit spirit why is the hermit present Yeah, I'm seeing the Ten of Wands um, at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you possibly may be overburdened, but I'm also getting a sense of you working well alone. Spirit, what is the Hermit? Excuse me. The hermit is the six of coins. Like there's some balancing um, that needs to happen here. Um, there's something that you need to expand on, something that you need to grow. I'm seeing the sense of, of multiple infinity symbols as well. I feel like you need to reconnect to spirit um, as well, but then you have equal give and take. But I'm, I'm wondering, spirit, what is the six of coins? Yeah, it's the Hierophant. Um, you need to reconnect with spirit. And, and that's specifically what I'm getting. I feel like you need to dig a little deeper. I'm not saying that you aren't connected to spirit now, but I'm saying that there's some, when you connect to spirit, there is something that is going to be discovered for you. There is knowledge that you're going to gain. What are you what will you uncover when with these with this introspection? But as I say it, like I feel like when you do um, do gain that introspection, you're going to come out with a wealth of knowledge that you're going to be able to use to your advantage. And it'll put you in a space where you can manifest what it is you want with the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to go back to the urban tarot for um, this abundance. Spirit, why do we need to work on the three of cups? Why does Pisces need to work on the three of cups? The hermit clarifying the hermit. Like, I feel like it's possible that there I'm getting a sense of some type of friendship bonds. And like, I'm feeling like right now at the current moment, collaboration and um, partnerships with many other people honestly is, isn't working out. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because like, I feel, I feel like you have tried. I feel like I'm getting a sense of somebody who has tried to, to collaborate, somebody who wanted to collaborate. But like, I feel like right now in this particular moment, you work best alone with the three of star, um, not the three, with the star um, at the bottom of the deck. Like, I feel like your hopes, your dreams, your wish fulfillment, that's all yours. Like, and I'm Honestly, I'm feeling like there's nobody really truly who can um, necessarily help you out with that. Spirit, what's the what's the hermit? Yeah, the queen, the queen of cups like you, you Pisces. You're an empath. And like, I feel like there's a lot of wealth and knowledge that you can bestow upon people. But like, I'm getting a sense of this is knowledge that you can gain um, on your own. And you using that connectivity to, to spirit, to the divine, um, using your intuition um, to guide you somewhere with the stars still at the bottom of the deck into a space where you need to heal. I'm also getting a sense of somebody, somebody needs to go see a therapist. So you can mend and heal those broken spaces. You can't do it all alone. You can't do it all alone. And like, I'm also getting a sense of somebody who struggles with that by themselves. Spirit, what's the um, Queen of Cups? There's nothing wrong with seeing a therapist. I've done it for years.
the magician as well as the knight of cups spirit why is the magician and the knight of cups here star I feel like somebody was stuck in a space where where honestly I'm getting a sense of somebody who was manipulative and like I feel like somebody um, was just like legit manipulating somebody in, in a situation and in a space where they were constantly um, honestly sed being being seduced like somebody was always in this space where they were being manipulated and like I feel like somebody used your healing or your hopes and your dreams um, honestly against you. But I'm also I'm I'm seeing your healing. I, I'm what I'm getting a sense of Pisces is your healing triggers people, which is actually very weird. Like I I get it, I get it. But you healing yourself, you doing you, you going after what it is you want to go after. I feel like that triggers people. I do. Spirit, why are people triggered by Pisces healing? Yeah, it, it's the it's the Ace of Wands. With your healing, you get divinely inspired to to do many different things. And like I I feel like with all of that, with with you being divinely inspired, you move forward and and you move on. And I'm going to tell you something. I just literally just just killed a mosquito. So somebody's monitoring because um, that that wasn't just a simple thing. But you want to know the fun thing about it? I did it easily. Maybe that could be significant. I feel like some things do come to you easily, easily, especially when you heal. There's there's such connectivity to the to divine and spirit when you heal. And honestly, I feel like when you heal, you get catapulted um, into spaces that are more favorable to you, especially with the queen of disc at the bottom of the deck. This is her second time showing up. She's on the board, but she's also here. You become extremely grounded. You become extremely stable. One more. Spirit, what's the ace of wands? Just like I said, the judgment. Like when you when you heal, you you make you make judgment calls. You you stand um you stand firm and strong with who it is as an individual. But like I'm also getting a sense of you change. And like I feel like you there's such a connectivity um to your past lives, um, to who it is, integrating your shadows and honestly using your past um in your present to move you into spaces, as I said earlier, that are more favorable um to you. You're you you transform Pisces. And that's what I'm getting. I'm getting metamorphosis. Like you become who you are really truly meant to be. I feel that. Let's get one or two um, moon manifestation oracles. I'm going to have to take me a Claritin, y'all. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, you definitely got somebody watching you. Reveal what needs to be seen. Spirit, what, what messages do you have for Pisces? Hmm. Take a breather. There go that healing again. Take a moment to breathe. Like, um, relax. Last quarter moon and cancer. Like I said, Pisces, I feel like with introspection, you become such an, an amazing individual. What else you got for um, Pisces soul tribe spirit? Open up to change. New moon in Aquarius. With the new moon, like I feel like cycles um, have come to an end. There's some sense of completion here. You're able to start over and you're able to start fresh. 
Pisces soul tribe that was the message um hopefully it resonates in some way shape form or fashion remember to like share comment and subscribe once again guys thank you for all of your support um anything you need from me will be down below in the description box that includes um if you want to donate personal readings there's also a free birth chart down there as well and as always Pisces soul tribe and cross watches and anybody else who has Pisces within their chart um, conquer this day, you guys, okay? Bye, guys.